If you're a fan of my content and you want even more, head over to twitch.tv forward slash acetrainillium, link in the description, for live streams five days a week. Come and join our amazing community. <laughs> Hey everybody, Ace Trent Aleem here and welcome to another episode of Metromania. For those who aren't aware, Metromania is an ongoing 16 Pokemon metronome only double battle tournament to determine the Metromania champion. And the theme of this season is Mega Evolution. If you're already a fan of Metromania and you're ready for more, make sure you hit the like button to show you're enjoying this series. And of course, hit subscribe if you're new so you never miss an episode. Today's heat is Heat 7. We are so close to the end of the heats already. It feels like barely a day has passed and yet already we've flown through these heats and we're almost ready for the quarterfinals. We've just got a little bit more to go this week and next week. But of course, before we get into today's battles, let's have a look at how the brackets stack up. Last week, Mega Charizard X made quick work of Mega Lopunny. Mega Lopunny says goodbye at this juncture. Didn't really stand a chance against some of the heavy hitters in this tournament, so it's probably for the best that it went out in the first round. Mega Charizard X moves on to a much sturdier challenge in the form of Mega Steelix in quarterfinal three, but of course now we turn our attention to quarterfinal four, which needs two competitors and currently doesn't have any. We're going to find out who the first competitor in quarterfinal four is going to be this week when we see Mega Glalie taking on Mega Gengar, who is going to be the first Pokemon to secure a place in the last of our quarterfinals. So here we go, it's Beardy Weirdy Ice Type Guy against kind of hands in the ground weird floaty guy. Let's do this, let's get excited. Of course Gengar does draw kind of a short straw in this tournament because its Shadow Tag ability is completely useless. But we see Shiny Mega Gengar starting off with a Thunder Punch against Shiny Glalie. It's really hard to tell the two Glalie apart from behind. Whoopsie. Here's regular Gengar who's going for Skull Bash. It's going to tuck in its head first and attack on the next turn. So of course Gengar is gifted with great speed and great special attack. But of course Glalie is a big tough hard hitter and of course has the... Um, oh, he's going to go for Core Enforcer on the first round. Going with the big hits right now. Um, of course, it has the Glaciate ability, I believe it is, which turn... No, it's not Glaciate, it's Refrigerate, I think. It's it's whatever ability it is that turns regular normal-type moves into ice-type moves and boosts their power by 30%. Here's a Super Fang, which is is the one of the normal-type moves that breaks that rule because it always does half HP. But you know what I mean. I'm pretty sure Glaciate is a move and Refrigerate is the ability. That's absolutely fine. Massive hit there from regular Gengar onto Shiny Glalie, though. Here's Shiny Mega Gengar, who's going to go for Odor Sleuth. Bit of a weird move to use, to be honest, at this juncture, but why not? Identify Shiny Glalie. Here's regular Glalie, though, going on the offensive. What's it going to do here? Going to go for Mist. Okay, that's not really the offensive, but... Sure, go for it, my dude. Whatever whatever you feel like right now, Glalie, you, you do you. It's nice to see you being recognized in some form in a tournament. Why not? Here's a Seed Bomb, though. It's not going to be very effective on the Poison-type Gengar. And that's lucky for Gengar, but still did massive damage because Glalie's attack and that critical hit, good lord, that was not good for regular Gengar. Here is Shiny Mega Gengar. What will it do here? It's going to go for Psychic Fangs, which should do a decent amount of damage to the, uh, well, a decent amount of damage there to uh, regular Glalie. And here's the regular Mega Gengar who's going to go for a lock-on. Oof. I probably wouldn't have gone for lock-on. I've probably gone something with a bit of substance, you know, something with a bit of panache, a bit of a hit. But here we go. Regular Glalie is going to return in kind with Ember, which isn't going to be very effective, but is enough to take down regular Gengar there. So regular Gengar is down, but down to just one Gengar and two Glalie here. I'm actually amazed Glalie is doing so, so well right now. As it, uh, Shiny Glalie goes for Fake Tears, which is going to reduce the special defense by two stages on that Shiny Gengar, who has a smile on its face, but I feel like there's some internal screaming going on right now. What's it going to do here? Going to go for Laser Focus. Guarantee the next move it uses will be a critical hit, but is that going to be good enough against the Glalie team? You've got two Glalie to take down here. I would go out punching, go out swinging. Poison Powder doesn't affect Shiny Gengar, so it can take advantage of that slip up. Here's Shiny Glalie though. Will it be able to fix the issue? Goes for Sticky Web. Not the greatest of moves. It is going to reduce the speed of the... Um is, no, it's not going to reduce the speed of Shiny Gengar because it only works on switch-ins. You know what I mean. It, it's it's late in the day. Here's Torment, though. Now, that's a great play by Shiny Gengar because it means that one turn Shiny Glalie can use Metronome, but on the other turn it will have to struggle and damage itself. 
So here it goes with Clamp. It won't be... Oh, it's avoided as well. Now, Shiny Glalie won't be able to use Metronome on the next turn. It will have to struggle. Here's a super effective Shadow Ball, though. Just what Gengar didn't want to happen, especially with the special defense drop from the fake tears from earlier. And down it goes. Glalie scored the first fall. It's over to Gengar to try and mount a comeback, try and equalize in this round. Holy moly. That Shadow Ball out of nowhere after the reduced special defense was all it took to take down that shiny Gengar right there. So now Gengar needs to mount an offense from the get-go. He's got to readjust. Don't underestimate Glalie. Goes for Land's Wrath. Holy moly. Do some great ground-type damage there. Not as much damage, I imagine, as Gengar would have hoped, but it's still damage. As long as they're damaging, they're surviving. Going for Whirlpool is the uh, shiny Gengar on the regular Glalie, which does a decent amount of damage and, of course, traps that Glalie in a vortex of water, which will damage it at the end of each turn. Shiny Glalie is going to go for Dual Chop, which is a Dragon-type move, which will get two decent hits there. Great chunk of shiny Gengar's HP taken away. And here comes the regular Glalie coming to fire back with a rolling kick which won't affect Gengar because of course it is a fighting type move so that won't affect the ghost type and there's the whirlpool damage so a much better showing this time round from Gengar maybe not underestimating Glalie quite so much as it did in the uh, the previous battle barrage from the regular Gengar is going to do multiple hits starting off with a crit as well on the only two hits there on the regular Glalie, but it is down to less than half its max HP. Here's Shiny Mega Gengar, who will follow up with Shadow Force. It's going to hide from the Glalie. Now, that's a smart play right there, and come back on the next turn to dish out some damage. But now there's just one Gengar against two Glalie. Here's a Moongeist Beam, which will be super effective. Holy moly, the big guns are out in full force. Moongeist Beam from uh, Shiny Mega Glalie doing massive damage there. About three quarters of Gengar's max HP. And here's regular Glalie, who's going to go for Earth Power on the same Gengar. So that Gengar is going to go down. Oh my goodness. So when the, Ge the shiny Gengar comes back, it's going to realize its partner's gone. That's unbelievable. There's more uh, Whirlpool damage. And here comes uh, shiny Mega Gengar with the Shadow Force. Is it, which Glalie is it on? Is it on the shiny or the regular? On the shiny, you've got to think that massive damage, it would have taken out the regular Glalie if it would have targeted that. And here's a headbutt, which is going to be an ice type 30% boosted headbutt. Massive damage there. Oh my goodness, it's not looking good for Gengar, is it? Here's regular Glalie, who's going to go for Crab Hammer with that brilliant attack stat. Down goes Gengar, it's 2 0 to Glalie. Glalie has made short work of Gengar. That was absolutely shocking, but well done to the Glalie team. You're through to the quarterfinals. Fantastic stuff. What a showing from Glalie. That was absolutely incredible. I'm really super impressed with Glalie. Um, I feel like I want to say Glalie's my pick. I have to stay impartial, but I'm really liking Glalie right now. Like Glalie is one of those mega evolutions that I forgot existed. Until the random number generator was like, oh, pick this number. And I was like, duh, 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 duh. oh, that's Gla Glalie as a mega. Oh, yeah, of course it does. So dead impressed with Glalie. Um, super excited to see how well it does in the in the future, in the quarterfinals. I don't know if it's going to go any further than the quarterfinals, depending on who it's up against. I mean, to be fair, it's up against either Scizor or Mewtwo Y. So I don't really fancy its chances. But... You know what? It had a good victory over Gengar. Very decisive victory, so I'll take that. That's satisfaction enough for me. That's, of course, where I'm going to leave this episode of Metromania. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to support my channel like these wonderful people down here do, pledge to my Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash acetrenalium. And, of course, for Twitch streams five days a week, head over to twitch.tv forward slash acetrenalium. And until next time, I'm Ace Trenalium. Keep on training.